Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Insmark Sun and this is Daily Rambles. Uh, I want to talk to y'all about something I've been in this video, so make sure y'all check that out. So anyway, um, we're doing The Flash today. We're doing Season 4, Episode 16 called Run, Iris, Run. So we start off with Cisco and Wells are discussing cray cray ideas about how to um, find other metahumans on the bus and to um, help uh, shield them from DeVoe. And they have really crazy ideas of like turning them into chickens. Appar and apparently Mad Scientist was a minor degree or concentration in, on Earth 2. Well, I'm like, what? <laughs> and so they start to bicker and then um, and then they discuss uh, Wills' version of a thinking cap. And then thinking, you know, he wants to blast himself with dark matter and make himself um, smarter. But Cisco refuses to help. He's like, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to have you that warp your brain and for you to go cry. And then we have our thoughts to Ralph. Because Ralph is being a really big Debbie Downer. Like, it's understandable that he's scared out of his mind for about what's going to happen potentially to him. That is coming after him. But he's just like, I'm just going to be in my room. I'll be in my room. It's like, dude, like, get a grip. And then we have Joe talks to Barry about coming back to work. And it's a no-go until the DeVos talk to the judge again. And that's how scene says, like, well, if everything checks out, he can come back to work. And unless we know he's definitely alive and well. And then we have a melting meta trying to steal some money. But the guy stands up to him. And he transferred powers to another person. But he didn't really know that he was doing that. Because he kind of got smacked in the face. And I know the guy nearest to him. And then he disappears when the cops show up. And then we have Joe and Cisco go over the case. And talk to the original guy that lost his powers. And some snooty SMB. So I don't take the bus. And it's also British. I was my lame ass attempt being a, a British accent. Sorry. <laughs> and so then we have Ralph is basically looking out for himself and he um, is just like, look, I'm looking out for me. I'm just looking out for number one. Me. So he's being a little selfish, a little prick. And then so the team does research and find Matthew Kim, who was the guy at the uh, bank. Then Iris wants to take charge instead of uh, her just taking like the back seat and tell them, hey, you go here, you go here, and direct people where to go. She's like, I'll do it myself. So then we have, uh, then we have uh, basically Ralph helping Wells with the cap, and it's working, and then the then the cat catches on fire. And then the West, Joe, and ours go question Kim, and he holds her hostage, and then uh, Joe gets a flash in, so then the flash uh, powers got transferred to Iris, so now he can't do that, uh, run fast or do anything with that anymore. And so they're running tests, and she passed all of them, and then Wells and Cisco bicker some more about the cap, then Iris is training um, and hit the wall like Barry did like the very first time. Like he was running so fast, they didn't have to stop, stop, and she like crash into the box of like it's basically a wall of uh, cardboard boxes. And then, um, and then there's an emergency, and Ralph is not helping because he's looking out for like I said for himself. Then Iris goes to help, and it did not go good. It did not go well for her. Well, she did okay at the beginning, rescuing the people, but when the fire was just trying to get, smoke it, uh, dis diminish it, it didn't work, and it's actually got worse. And then Barry got cold, um, didn't really know what to tell her to do because, like, she's already had it for like maybe eight hours, maybe. And so basically, Cisco had to go in last minute with a breach and rescue her. And then, uh, Cisco, um, uh, yep. The Kim says she can't reverse what they call the guy that transfer powers melting point, and so they can't reverse it. Um, and then Cisco agrees uh, to help Wells with the cap. 
Then Barry and Iris bicker, and then Barry encourages her because she says she lost her fearlessness fearlessness last year because of Savitar, and she wanted to prove that she still had it. So Barry encourages her, and then we have Cisco makes a suit for her when the, another another emergency comes up. Then uh, Iris cuts Kim, and then Wells does the thinking cap and tells um, her to make a tidal wave, and it works. And there's the plane landing. <laughs> right on time. And then uh, we have, uh, and, and so the tidal wave works. Then Kim reverses the powers, and everything's back to normal. Then Kim gets told about Devote and how they could use his powers against Devote. And so he agrees to help, and so they show him around. Then Iris talks to Ralph. It's like, look, I've been where you are. You need to just snap out of it and just start living like you were beforehand and doing good and helping people. So he agrees to help out more, and then we have Ferris and Iris talk. And it's weird, they, he he got a piece of Frank Keystone, and they were talking about cravings, so I don't know if that was tied into Cecile or for something else, because he said he had cravings for this pizza place. So I don't know if that means that she's already pregnant or what, so I'm very interested in the, if that was just a little tidbit of stuff that's happening. And then we have Iris that uh, wants to go back to writing, and she does with the blog. And then Will's got the names of the people with the thinking cap. And that's the end of the episode. Uh, I'll probably go this episode. It was probably, I don't know, I'll probably go this a B plus. I mean, we go from Ralph being a dork and being, you know, the funny guy to him being, like, super serious and a downer and trying to focus back on themselves as like, so he had a little bit of a regression to where he was, um, to where he was at the beginning of the season. But I don't know. I just feel like it was more. It was too much of a switch. I feel like he they could have um, gradually done that, and I didn't really feel that from the last episode. So I don't know. That's pretty much my reasoning for that because I love Iris being the last. I thought she was really good, and that you had a potential for like, more awesome stuff. So. Anyway, other than that, I thought it was a pretty good episode. I like what they did, and um, Barry was a little ticked off. He he could see it, but he didn't voice it, which is, I guess, is a decent thing. So anyway, anyway, I think that's what I did for this for the yeah this video. So back to what I said at the earlier. So if you're just tuning in for this one, thank go for this part. But watch the whole thing, please. <laughs> Okay, I just want to give a quick shout out for the other video that I did for Marvel. Uh, it's automatically my uh, third highest video ever on this channel at 440 views as of this recording. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am very surprised that it got that many views. I was not expecting that. I did not even promote it. I just did the tags and stuff I usually do. I actually have not been promoting anything. I've just been literally just posting the videos just on the tags I haven't been promoting on Facebook because I gave that up for a Lent. So I won't be have that back until April. And I haven't been doing it on Twitter either or Tumblr if you like to follow me. It's at... I should have forgot my Tumblr name. But anyway, my Facebook ch page is the same as my channel page and also, my Twitter is, it's getting late, because I did it after a song, but I want to create official Twitter for Daily Rambles eventually. But anyway, I just want to say a quick shout out and a quick thank you for everyone that's watched the video, and y'all are awesome, and that's one of the for this actual video, so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, like it, dislike it, just tell me what you think. And if you have any other suggestions for TV shows, movies, or music, let me know down below. And then I want y'all to have a super awesome day, and please subscribe. I'll see you later. I want y'all to have a super awesome day, night, evening, whatever you're watching this. Have a good one, and bye.